Hey guys, this is Ryan coming at you from Tokyo, Japan. I'm in uh, beautiful Umegaoka, the park, and right now it's the Hanami season. And I thought I'd take a, t take a second to just uh, comment. I just basically went for a, a jog around the park. It's a beautiful day, and it's Hanami season. And I thought I'd take a second to talk about Hanami and what that means and, and kind of like a cultural thing in Japan. Basically... Hanami is the cherry blossom or sakura season. It's where only two or three weeks out of the entire year where the cherry blossom, which is Japan's national, national flower, it's a major symbol in Japan, blooms. And it's, it's very, very beautiful. You can find a lot of like old families in Japan have it on their, on their crest. They have it on, you know, it's it's all over the place. <laughs> it's kind of like this. And uh, the sakura, the cherry blossom, is just a very big symbol in Japan. And it kind of means like the coming of spring, the new life. It's basically the time when it's, you know, when the seasons are turning. So it's freezing cold, and then there's that shift, and it gets more warmer. And that kind of, you know, lets the plants know that it's time to open up. And when that happens, all the trees around here just turn a various shades of pink and it's beautiful <coughs> excuse me <laughs> various shades of pink and it lasts for about two or three weeks and during that two or three weeks there everybody's doing picnicking you know it's it's you're allowed to drink in the outdoors in Japan and a lot of people are drinking outside <coughs> and you can tell I get allergies occasionally <laughs> but uh, a lot of different families come outside, you put out a nice picnic, people bring drinks, bring sake, bring beer. And I've been, of course, you know, indulging in this. I've done maybe two or three picnics this last couple weeks. Probably more, actually. But uh, it's been really, really fun, and it's a great time to, to come to Japan and enjoy the warm weather. It's perfect weather. It's, it's, it's like Southern California weather. If you wait a little too long, it starts to get humid, and it's oh, it's like the it's the opposite all the time. It's either really warm or really cold, <laughs> and kind of that cherry blossom season is the best time to be in Japan, and you can drink outside, and it's a great time because it's like that time in Japan where everybody just becomes automatically social. Great time to make new friends. People people will come all over to the park, and even if you don't know anybody. <laughs> You should go with a group, but usually people people start getting drinking. Usually you can you can walk up, and they're way more approachable, and that happens all the time. So, in the past, you know, I've I've hosted events, I've I've done my own events, and I've been invited to events. This year, I kind of took a side seat and was more invited to events, and and that's a great time too. And you you can really make a lot of meet a lot of cool people. And you know, some of the biggest areas in Tokyo. If you go to Tokyo. You either want to go to like kind of Ueno, Ueno Park, or Kichijoji, or or Yoyogi Koen or Yoyogi Park. Those are the biggest places. I mean, Yoyogi is probably the busiest and uh, the most where you're going to see the most craziness, uh, you know, kind of uh, party lifestyle during the day. And if you if you go there any time, you're going to see people drinking and having fun. If you want to get a spot, if you it, it is crowded. And people will get up super early, like first train. I've had to do this. I've had to do this where I had to get up at like 6 a.m. and try to find a good spot at uh, Yoyogi for like a big group of like 30, 40, 50 people. And you lay out all their tarps and you say this is reserved because you got all of Tokyo, 40 million people trying to get into that one area. So if you're going to be, if you want to have a picnic there with a large group, make sure to go early. If you're going just to have fun, yeah, I'd say go around, uh, you know, noon or one or two o'clock, and you're basically just hanging out, meeting people, drinking beers, you know, underneath the soccer trees. It's really, really fun. And if you go on a weekday, obviously it's way less crowded, um, and there's more families doing it during that time. Weekends is more, you know, kind of kind of people in their 20s and 30s having a good time. Really fun. And always a big recommendation is make sure you go to the bathroom before going to the park because the park bathroom when everybody like imagine like a giant beer fest and everybody has to use the bathroom at the same time you don't want that happening <laughs> so make sure to go to the restroom beforehand otherwise you're looking at like a good 30 minute wait uh more so for the girls but yeah i'm kind of uh you know in the beautiful sunshine today just got done with a jog Thought I'd make this comment because you know right now it's the third week of soccer season. They're on. You can see. You can see they're starting to fall off. Um, and new, 
the new uh, plant life is starting to grow up. So I thought I'd give a little comment on that. Um, another great area to go is Kyoto, and that's really, really beautiful. Um, you know, I think a, a fun fact was if you go to Washington, D.C., they have cherry blossoms up and down kind of the, the monument area, and that was, I think, a gift from the Japanese government way a few decades ago to the U.S. They gave a... They exported all these sakura trees to go to Washington, and that was a really, really cool thing. So if, you ever, if you're in Washington, D.C., and you see those sakura trees, it's actually because it's a big symbol from Japan. And here in, the, in Japan, it's everywhere. It's all over the place. You can't walk, you know, during the season, you can't walk, uh, you know, you can't walk 100 feet without at least seeing one tree. Um, and it's a big thing where, you know, Japan is the electronic capital so everybody's taking photos, everybody's uploading them to social media. It's a, it's a big thing. And you know, they have beers that are the cherry blossom beer season. They have, they have, you know, pop music songs dedicated to, to cherry blossom. So it's a big symbol in Japan. So if you're ever, if you're ever in the area during kind of the season is kind of the first, first, uh, the end of March and the beginning of April is kind of that season. So a great time to check out Japan. All right, guys, that's the comment for the day. Uh, please let me know your thoughts and feedback, and I'll catch you on the next time. All right, guys, cheers.